So it's been a really long time since I've been to RSA, but um, the difference is, is very substantial as far as um, talking about money wise. It's all about the hours that you put in. So you put in the hours, you would get paid. So uh, I'm out there and I'm resetting everything. Like I said before, I'm resetting all the stores to original planograms. The planograms are in the phones. So you wanna spend time out there, just do the right thing, reset the stores to what they're supposed to be. Planograms are very important, very important. That's like the number one thing you should know once you go on the route is to follow the planograms. This is my first store. I have uh, 9, 7, 11 on this route. And uh, I've, I started the whole process already where I, uh, you know, I have ordered the right product for where it's supposed to go. Um, I asked the DSL for some strips to color code the product. And now I have to get some caddies, some plastic caddies for convenience foods. Convenience food is a must. Listen guys, we have to flood the market. Free to lay all day. <laughs> so guys, I will catch you guys on the next. I'm about to go to the next store, which is another 7-Eleven. And uh, this one, it was cool. Dude was cool, it was from the Dominican Republic. We chopped it up a little Spanish here and there. It spoke about food, spoke about music, spoke about the plantains. Hey, you guys gotta check that natural chips, all right? The garlic, the regular one is not bad. The lime is the best and the sweet, it has to come out. The sweet one just gotta come out. So I'll catch you guys on the next and see and show you guys how the second store is looking like. Peace. I just wanted to show you guys how it's done. I know I've I've put up pictures of before and after effects. So now I'm showing you guys how it's done. I walked into the store last week and I placed an order for it um, just uh, to set it up the way that I, I see fit. So I'm here and I'm trying to you know find places i want to set it up the same way as we set up uh 7-eleven this is a cvs where i'm at right now and uh cvs's don't really have fems the fems are these racks right there these middle racks that you see uh usually we have product on the shelf which is called the gondola and um it's set up next to the big bag so this store is is different i've i've uh i don't really see it much but um so i'm, I'm setting it up uh with the same planogram that you see in a 7-eleven i have all the planograms in you know in in my head so i don't really need to check the phone um so this is what i'm doing i ordered the product uh, the way it's supposed to be set up and I'm just um, I'm having fun right now Sometimes it is a little difficult to uh, set the planogram the way you imagine it, the way that it's supposed to be, because the RSR who had the route uh, before wasn't following planogram. So a lot of product, like if you if you look at the last shelf, the big lays, those uh, those yellow bags on the bottom, those aren't on the planogram. So. It's a little hard to have it the way it's supposed to look like, but you know, everything is a work in progress. You know, I um, I just wish that eventually um, there will be a lot of work with 
the the new hires and a lot of different um work work with with uh with the regular drivers because you know it's a market you know the markets need to be set up a certain way and i just wish that you know everybody would follow it so i'm setting it up now and next week i'm not there so i hope that you know whoever comes after me while i'm away or uh, we keep the same um the same path the same pattern that i set up because you know it's it makes it easier for for you when uh come in someone comes in and covers the route and they know where everything goes and it makes it also easier to shop easier to place orders you know for the customers that know where everything is that's the reason for the planogram you know, to track everything that sells what does it sell and as far as the bake lays they're not uh on the planogram but that's why I use a side basket for the side basket is for innovation, you know, the new items or the items that we already have, but that isn't on the planogram. And also, of course, like um, you will see soon in my in my upcoming videos, once I actually take this route, that uh, there are other ways to have uh, those other products, um, you know, into the store. There's a lot of there's a lot of um, a help and there's uh, the company provide a lot of different ways to sell and display everything where they're supposed to be like you know when you walk into a store and you see what do you see you see the registers you see the deli department you see the dairy department you know so. There are places in the store where you see certain different items, um, just like the cookies or the peanuts or the baked items, you know, uh, the beef jerky. There are places that uh, that take certain items, so um, it's not just the gondola or the end cap, you know, or the clip strips or the display here, the display is there. Everything has its its space in the store. Um, like I said in my upcoming videos I will show um, uh, the different areas where I could set up uh, certain items so let me get back to my fun <laughs>
about uh, natural chips, which is the plantain chips that are from Dominican Republic, uh, because it is such a really great item that came out this summer. So yeah, you guys need to go out there and check it out. And so I filled up the whole side um, basket, the whole side basket with the plantain chips. So right now I'm basically almost done and I'm trying to figure out where to put the rest because I had some leftover uh, plantain chips in a box. And I'm trying to figure out where to put it. And then I, I realized that they have these little um, these little trays right there that are meant to hold some dip and not really uh, understanding why it's up there. So I, uh, I found a place for them. And for the next uh, the next order, I'll be I ordered the the small dip that come in the can. We always need dip. Dip is definitely a big item that needs to be uh, distributed in all the stores. However, you you can get it out there. Um, so it is always such a good taste to have some dip with your chips. So you see right on top of there. That's where I'm going to put the natural chips. But and originally the whole the whole top is convenience foods but you know i'm just on the route and this is my second time into the store so i'm just saying it up right now but eventually it will be just 100 percent perfect to plan a gram got ourselves a planogram compared to what it was before so much better and of course you know me I gotta have my plantains the only thing that I really want to do um, also when this sells down when this all sells down I'm going to put my my, uh, my popcorn is right there on the side um, I already worked on the gondola and um, well, that's about it, guys. All right. So this whole week has been uh, resetting the stores, and next week is going to be cleaning the shelves and um, putting the tags in the proper areas. I'll catch you guys on the next. Peace.